What's up boys and girls, Lambu here, and as you can already see today, my camera is a little bit off from where it usually is. This is because, wait, I'm gonna put it here actually. This is because I um, decided to make a video on my hotkeys, because this is something that I, to my surprise, got asked about quite frequently, and I figured if I will continue making videos, the question will arise more, more than just once, and I might as well start making a video now that I can refer to later. So first off, my usual hotkey setup, as you can already see pretty much, is pretty much just grid. Um, people always ask me what, what the best hotkey setup is, if there is a, a, a big preference. I honestly think whatever you guys learn StarCraft with is just fine. Uh, it, it can be standard hotkeys, it can be grid, it can be like th they try to optimize hotkeys with the core, that's fine too. Um, I think whatever you're comfortable with, you don't really need to copy anyone, just use it and it will be fine. There's just a couple of things that I think need to be actually be changed, which is what I'm going to talk about for a second. Um, what, the, the reason I don't, it won't just show grit here by the way, because I changed my hotkeys is, I changed them so my explode button wouldn't be the same button as the, the one that I have for, right, the, the banning explosion is usually the same button as all the abilities. So I changed that from Y to C. For me, it's Y, by the way, because I'm using a German keyboard. This is usually where the where the Z would be. So this is the only th this is the main reason why I changed anything. But uh, the main things that you can change and that you should change are in the global hotkeys. Um, the first ones are I think the camera hotkeys are very weird um, by default. So I changed those to creating them with shift f1, shift f2, shift f3, shift f4, shift f5, shift and so on and so forth. You get, you get the idea and then using them with the f keys. Um, the way I create those at the very start of the game, let's say I don't have any, is f you can double click, you can center the hatch in many ways, like control f or just double click or I think even click the portrait. Yep, so you, you have your main base and that's f f1 and then let's say there are no hatcheries here. I usually use drag scroll but you can do whatever you want. Shift F2, Shift F3, Shift F4, F5, F6, F7. I honestly think using camera hotkeys, even if you don't want to use the camera hotkey inject method, even though that one is superior to the base camera hotkey one, it's also not slower, which some people sometimes say for some reason. Um, I made a video about that, by the way, if you guys want to check out how to do that and when to use which or how to do ex exactly. I made a video two years ago, but it's still very, it's still accurate and this is, the hotkey method that everyone is using. I think learning camera hotkeys is super beneficial, especially for Zergs, because every single time you go to a base, let's hotkey those properly, every single time you, you get harassed, because Zerg is usually a defensive uh, race. <clears throat> uh, you, you would need to go to your bases with the mouse, right? Or if you want to go base camera, which I don't even have hotkeyed, you need to switch through every single one. Whereas with this, with the camera hotkeys, you can just go accurately to... I'm like, oh shit, there's a liberator in my fifth base, right? So I'm going here, and I can run these drones away, and then I'm like, oh shit, there's no spore crawler here. F, F, F3, right? Because I know I have spores here, and then I go, I, I go here, and then I see, oh, there's no... These drones are not mining, and now these drones are not mining. Let's put them back, because the liberator is gone now. So just in general, learning Camera hotkeys will improve your play by quite a bit in terms of speed. So that's the first thing that I would change from default hotkeys. If you never learned camera hotkeys, it doesn't actually take that long. I used to learn because I was impressed with Jadong's injects. Back in the day, I used to have um, my Queen's hotkeys separately on 5, 6, 7, 8, and then double tap them to inject. And I think my injects became better and my general play became better like within one day or so. So at first I just played in custom games and then I realized, oh, this, this is actually isn't that hard. Let me let me uh, do that. So that's the first thing that I, I would change. Um, secondly, one thing that, that uh, I did not change, but I think people should, is their hotkeys. If you guys are not comfortable with using all these hotkeys and you want to you want to use more hotkeys than uh, you want. I, I don't think it's super necessary to have more than one army control group, or, or two rather. I think two should, should, should be the norm, um, up until like Master's League Plus. But if you want to use more, you can 
start optimizing your own hotkeys. So I don't care if you have grit or if you have standard hotkeys. You can start using extra hotkeys like caps lock that you don't use or a space bar, for example. Um, I don't need any of that because I'm pressing 7, 8, 9. I don't have anything hotkey that's 8, 9. That's usually my run by defense and my run by. And then usually I have on 0, I have the Evo chambers. So this would be my, my hotkey setup right now. Like, I, I, as you can see, I have a lot of army hotkeys, right? Main army, then job defense, run by, spellcaster 1, spellcaster 2, and then usually I have queens uh, hotkeyed. So those are my army hotkeys, you won't need that many, but the more army hotkeys, or the more hotkeys in general you will learn, the more uh, space you have for improvement overall. So that's the second thing you, you can change. And now, the third thing is rapid fire. Now, first of all, what is rapid fire? Rapid fire basically just means that you put the left click command of where you want, want to aim an ability or how you want to use an ability. You put an alternate hotkey for it, which is the same as the one which uses the ability. So if I see there is a barracks flying here and I really need to kill it fast, I just hold down Y and all my ravagers just like that use their corrosive by. Um, a disclaimer before I explain how this works. Uh, for, for me, this works a little bit faster than for the usual keyboard settings because I'm using a Ducky 1 um, backlit version just so my repeat delay and my repeat rate are lower than usual. So uh, what repeat delay is, is this is the time that it takes from actually pr holding down the button to the computer saying, okay, I'm going to spam wise now. So in this case, it starts repeating faster, and then the um, the time at which it repeats is the is the repeat rate itself is also faster. So I'm using for both. I'm using times four on a ducky keyboard, but you can change this with any keyboard in the Windows registry settings. Uh, I would actually tell sort of to make a video about that, and as soon as he has one, I'm gonna link it somewhere. I don't I don't even know where I am right now on the screen, but uh, I'm gonna link it somewhere. Uh, but for, for now, even if you don't, this will make it faster and easier than if you will have to hold down the button plus left click all the time, right? So, this is the first spell. For, for, first of all, I'm gonna tell you guys which spells this is even useful for. So, the first one would be Corrosive Bite, even though, like, to break force fields, most of the time, even if I'm, especially in ZVZ, I'm just using them with my mouse click still. But if there are bigger units, against mech very often, for example, or against battle cruisers, if you've... Uh, combine it with a fungal growth or a neural, um, using rapid fire can be good. Or against buildings, for example, also very important against a cannon rush, it's very easy. So let's say you have the cannons here and you want to cross the battle outside of cannon range, you just do it like this, right? And then, okay, now the cannon is dead. Um, the, second, the second one would be abduct. This is especially important in ZVZ. So I can just hold this down and abduct all the, the units, I can just hover over them. Then the next one is also Viper Spell, which is Consume. For this one, you hold down Shift and then just hold down the button over buildings, and it will consume. Uh, if you just use Y without the Shift click, it will just load up half the Viper energy. Then the next one would be Neural. This is very nice uh, against both Mech and in late game against Protoss, especially in late game. There is so much to do with the Zerg army control. See, it doesn't load up the full. You need to Shift click it. So. Um, Especially in late game for Zerg, there's like so much to control that not even uh, Cyril can control late game arm perfectly. No one can, it's not possible. So, saving time with the knurling of Archons or Taurus or whatever um, will enable you to have more time to do anything else. The next one would be Creep. I don't think you should always use this, just when you have a nice line and more, you can do it like this. And it will, it, this will, this will save time overall. Right? Um, in the early game, I usually just, or if there if there are a single cube tumors, I just click them, like so, like this was also clicked. But if there is a lot of them next to each other, you can just whoop, go like that. That's one, and then there is one last that I want to talk about. Um, actually, there are two more. One would be the gather hotkey. So let's say, let's say a Protoss is harassing your mineral line, and instead of just mass right clicking here. You just gather. See, see how the drone switches? You can just hold down gather and hover the mineral hotkey. Mineral hot this has a couple of advantages over just right-clicking. One, 
you won't hurt your middle finger from constantly right clicking every single game against Protoss. And two, you can't misclick. So if I right click accidentally next to Mineral Patch, the drone will do nothing. Whereas you can't you can't misclick with the gather. You can't click away from the mineral. Like if you if I click right next to it, it doesn't do anything, right? So that's useful. And then the last one I have on on uh, rapid fire is um, mineral field depleted. No, I, I don't. I don't actually have enough spores this game. But in late in late game, very often you will need to move a lot of spores, and I have. I basically have rapid fire for that. But I don't actually use rapid fire. I just uh, use the mouse because my repeat delay is actually too fast for that, and then every time they overlap, as you can see. So this one is actually not possible for me. <laughs> uh, oh, and build building spines and spores you can also put on rapid fire, right? In a base trade, sometimes you can. You're going mass mute against the Protoss, you can do that. If you have a... Th th this, as I said before, this... F for me, the way I the way I put them down is with my mouse, and this is still pretty fast. Because my repeat rate is too fast for me to do this purely with um, rapid fire. So those, I think, are all the ones. For Terran, there is obviously Snipe. Uh, I'm sure there is something for Protoss as well. Which uh, rapid fire is helpful for. So now, let me show you how to set it up. Alright, so the way you change it is you go to the options and then the hotkeys. You can also do this in-game. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you do it in the, me in the menu or while you're in a game. Um, you select your hotkey profile or you create a new one. Um, the way it's supposed to look is in the global hotkey section under unit management, you will see that under choose ability or AI target, I have five alternates. These are for all of the spells that I described earlier. So this is basically replacing the left click or giving an alternate to the left click of, let's say, abduct. So instead of abduct left click, you, I, I do abduct with a X and then I if I press X again, so if I just hold it down, it will work as a, as a left click replacement. And usually Stargraph just lets you do add one alternate, but the way you can use multiple ones is if you change it in the text file of the of the hotkey um, of the hotkey file, uh, which uh, which actually is quite simple, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let's say we create a new profile with standard hotkeys for like here. So and we're going to name this YouTube one two three. Okay, and now we see that everything is standard, so we add one alternate for whichever hotkey you guys want to use. This should be the same hotkey as the abilities that you guys want to rapid fire later on. So for me that's Y for now. So I accept this, this will save. Okay, okay. Now we search for YouTube123, we can already see it. Uh, it's a SE2 hotkeys file. Um, you can do open with and then with uh, the notepad. I'm sorry, I have everything in I have everything in um, German. So now, in the line where it will say target choose left mouse button comma Y, you can just add the extra hotkeys. And upon restarting the Starcraft or at least relogging, that should change your hotkeys, and that's it. That's all you need to do in order to set up your rapid fire. So you save this, you close it. And then I'm not sure if this will work or if they will, uh, or if I'm actually gonna have to restart the entire game, but your hotkeys will be changed. Let's see. <clears throat> Global unit management, and just like that, we can rapid fire with four different hotkeys now. I hope this helped a bunch of you guys out. Uh, I, I know this wasn't too useful for everyone because uh, I know a lot of you guys already know everything about the hotkeys, but that's what the Zerg Academy is here for. So I just wanted to have this as a reference video that I can show people when they ask me about hotkeys later on. Anyways, tomorrow will be the first PayPega Tuesday video, so I'm going to analyze a bunch of um, subscriber replays. So look out for that. I'm going to upload that uh, in the evening tomorrow and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.